what's going on everyone it's andy here and i hope everybody is doing good and spring break is right around the corner so are y'all excited for that what are your plans for spring break let me know in the comments below so uh let's get the video started so we are checking out a multimedia player aka dvd player now shout out to the marketing team that sent me this this is uh hopefully i'm pronouncing it right sehoit or sehoit mini multimedia player now, a DVD player, the last time I've messed with the DVD player was probably more than 10 years ago. And, uh, or probably more, yeah, probably like around more than 10 years ago. So when they told me if I wanted to review this, of course, I was going to say, you know, heck yeah, <laughs> it brings back a little nostalgia. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the Sahoy, hopefully I'm saying it right again, Sahoy mini multimedia player, DVD player. This is what the front of the box looks like. And this is what the site looks like. This is the model number. Let me go ahead and turn the light off. That's a little too bright. There we go. This is the multimedia player model number DVP 508. Power input 5 volts. Video signal system. Audio NTSC PAL. On the back is the same as the front. And on the side, we got ourselves manufacturing addresses and contact information. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, again, this brings back a lot of memories because it's a DVD player. Come on. Like, we all grew up with the DVD player. I know, And I know there's a lot of people that still use DVD players, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, again, for me, the last time I touched or messed with the DVD player was years ago. So, let's go ahead and open it up. And looks like we got ourselves an active warranty, probably with the user manual. Looks like we got ourselves a remote, HDMI. Uh, USB, is that a USB-C? Let, let's go ahead and open it up. And is that a... I believe this is a... Comes with the brick charger. So that's pretty interesting. So usually with the DVD player, because it uh, outputs a little bit of uh, more power, you would think that it would come with the standard wire, but it comes with a brick charger with the USB-C cable to power the multimedia player dvd player so that's pretty interesting that's pretty cool never seen that on a dvd player yeah you see USB C charging so that's going to power your dvd player also comes with an hdmi pretty cool i always love when um, media devices include an hdmi like the projectors i've tested out in the past Always include a DVD, uh, HDMI, AV wires, pretty cool, and your uh, remote control, and ag again, user manual and active warranty. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out right here. All right, so let's go ahead and put this aside. Oh wow, it is super lightweight, probably less than a pound, or no, probably about a pound. It's, it, to me, it doesn't even feel like a pound. It's super lightweight. Wow. I can see why they use the USB-C charging. It's not that heavy. So. All right. So this is what the front looks like. You got your... Uh, let me go ahead and turn the light on. There we go. So in the front, you got yourself the power button. Looks like we got ourselves a little IR blaster right there. An eject button. Play and pause USB C uh, USB drive. So if you have movies or music on the drive, you're gonna be able to plug this. You're gonna be able to plug this in and uh, listen to your music, look at your pictures, or if you have movies stored on the USB drive, you're gonna be able to play those on this right here. Don't know what this is for. Maybe that's another IR blaster. On the side, we got nothing. On the back, looks like we got ourselves a high resolution HDMI port. AV ports and a USB-C charging, a little uh, and with the sticker branding Sahoy. Side nothing on the bottom. We got ourselves a model number with the skid numbers, and uh, yeah. So again, it's been a long time since I messed with the DVD player. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting video because uh, don't know what I'm gonna be able to put on uh, to show y'all how it looks because copyrighted everything on youtube nowadays but i will try to put a little something on it maybe uh other than that we will continue this 
in the room. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to plug it into my TV or my projector. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It does have an HDMI. So I'm thinking maybe I won't need to use these and just use the HDMI. Again, we're going to find out when we uh, bring it to the bedroom. But uh, yeah, I will continue this in the bedroom and I will catch y'all in a bit. All right, so we are back and I went ahead and connected the DVD player to the TV. I connected the HDMI and I also connected the USB-C uh, for the power source. However, I did not use the brick charger for it. Seeing as my TV has built-in USBs, I was able to use the USB port to power the DVD player on and it works, it turned on. So I guess I got a spare USB brick charger which is pretty cool so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on just like that so what you're gonna see right now this screen right here this is your main screen there is no smart screen there's no smart features this is the screen that you see that's it so let me go ahead and go to the menu I don't want to get copyrighted Okay, so as you saw when I turned it on, that's, uh, let, let me do this. Okay, so this screen right here is the only screen you're going to see. So it doesn't have a, a hub, like, uh, it doesn't have a hub like on TVs or most DVDs, uh, some of the smarter DVDs, they have like a little hub or uh, a selection to choose from DVD to USB to, to, TF card reader or or whatever. So, so the screen that you see before you in front of me is your main screen. Until you put a DVD player in, then the screen changes. Then the screen changes, and that's it. So just keep that in mind, okay? So this is the screen, the main screen, and that's it. Another thing is the DVD player will only work with DVDs, and so it's. You have to see this stamp right here, DVD video. It is not gonna, it's not gonna work with Blu-rays. So if you have a Blu-ray or a 4K disc, it is not gonna work with it. It only works with DVDs. Just keep that in mind, okay? Other than that, it does play it flawlessly. There's no issues whatsoever. If you do have a USB drive, it's gonna be able to, uh, let me go ahead and put the disc back in. So if you do have a, a USB drive and you have movies on it and photos and music, you're going to be able to play that through here. But um, other than that, it only works for DVDs. No Blu-rays, no 4K DVDs or 8K DVDs. Just plain DVDs. So it works good. I got no issues with it whatsoever. The reason why this looks like this is because it's a DVD, so it's not Blu-ray or whatever. And plus, this is an old classic movie, so that's why it looks like how it looks in what you guys are seeing right here. But again, other than that, no issues with it whatsoever. It works smoothly. Um, I believe the price on this is... So the price on this is $35.49. Now, they do have an option if you buy two or more, you save 4%. But other than that, you are paying $35.49 for a regular DVD player slash multimedia player. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little quick review of it um, connecting or of it playing a little sample. Obviously, I can't play anything because it's copyrighted. So um, yeah, if I had a USB drive or something with music or movies on it, I would definitely play it. But again, YouTube copyrights everything nowadays. So just wanted to show y'all what it looks like when it's turned on and when you have the, when you're on the main screen and correct, I, I did say it was, I believe I said it was 720p. It's not 720p. It does go up to 1080p. So, um, that was my mistake, but yeah, other than that, this is the Sahoy Mini Multimedia Player. And I will put the link in the description if you are interested or if you want to check out what else they have to offer. It's going to be in the description. Um, other than that, I hope y'all liked this video. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. 
And uh, if y'all want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a lot. We're almost at 500 subs. Once we hit 500 subs, I know we can reach 1K subs. So that's a big stepping stone for me. And uh, yeah, so y'all take care. I will catch you on the next video. And like I said, I wasn't expecting to do a DVD uh, player. So it was kind of, kind of retro slash... I don't know if retro is the right word for it or nostalgia is the right word for it, but it was pretty cool putting a DVD player in the disc because like I said, I haven't, I haven't played or turned on a DVD player in a long time. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, other than that, like I said, I will catch you on the next video. Y'all take care. I love y'all. Bye-bye.